Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we'll see part 12 of ServiceNow developer interview series. So without any delay, let's go to the first question. The first question is, which port needs to be open while doing LDAP integration? So a SSL encrypted LDAP integration communicates over TCP on port 636 by default. So basically port 636 needs to be open for LDAP integration and basically it's open by, by default you don't have to open explicitly. The next question is what is UI scripts? So UI scripts are way to package client side JavaScript into reusable form similar to how script included store server side JavaScript code. Admin can create UI script and run them from client script and other client side script objects from HTML code. So basically in other words we can say that like uh, UI scripts are similar to script include. In script include we are writing the server side code and we are calling from the server side and however in uh, like in cases if we make the client cloud callable we are calling from the client side as well. So here UI script is storing for the client side code and we are calling UI script from the client client script or any client script objects, client side objects. Let's say UI policy from UI policy we can call that. Now move to the next question. Next question is what is the difference between glide record and glide system? So glide record class is the way to interact with ServiceNow database from script. So basically we can say that like glide record we are using to interact with the ServiceNow database and performing CRUD operation. CRUD means create, read, update and delete. So if you want to perform CRUD operation we are using glide record in script. While glide system API has a set of function which are used to use like find uh, information about the current logged in user or we have to use for the log messages like gs.debug, gs.error, gs.y, gs.info add messages to in pages like we are using add gs.addInfo message generate events, execute schedule job and many more and one major difference I can say like uh, in glide record we have to create the object by of our own like let's say we are generally we are using var gr equal to new glide record but in glide, glide system if you want to use any method we have to use only the gs object let's say if you want to use a function error so you have to write gs.error gs.warning gs.info you can't create your object from your own side and you now move to the next question what are the three basic components of workflow? So the three basic components of workflow is input, transformation, output. Next question. What is workflow task? A workflow task is content item which has been assigned to a specific user or a role indicating that the user or some member of the role needs to be take action on the content item. So it basically is some kind of ta workflow task is a something kind of task which are assigned to some user or some the particular role and they have to and they have to notify that like you have to take action on that content item. So this is the bonus question. Generally, when the interviewer asking about the so many questions about workflow, so they will ask like uh, this is generally it's not a dev like a coding to them. It's a like a value based question. So like how do you create an effective workflow? So you can say that like uh, when we are creating the workflow, we have to keep the goal in mind or objective of the workflow, like what we need to achieve by creating this workflow. Identify flaws. Take a deep look at your workflow 
and see where delays may be sprouted means you have to debug the workflow like if any delay happens you have to see that and then you have to test it and then you have to publish it simple in the last video i have asked what are the best practices for writing business rule so there are the few best practices i have listed down that is we have to use conditions appropriately we have to prevent recursive business rule if you use a recursive business rule it's calling itself again and again and which will affect the performance as well keep code in enclosed function use script includes instead of global business rule and the today's question is what is the difference between utility and warranty if you know the answer please write in the comment box till that time thank you god bless you all